Christina Modica and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, then this is a platform where we discuss everything crop production. And if you're a returning or subscriber, thank you for joining the family. I do hope you enjoy this video. Now, it gets so difficult choosing a variety because every single year, thousands of varieties are published in, uh, into the market and you never know which fit is actually for you, right? Because at the end of the day, you're looking for a variety, a seed variety or seedling variety that's well suited for your market, that's well suited for your climate, that's well suited as well for the area that you're in. With all of these new varieties coming onto the market, it makes the choice very hard because you don't know what variety to go for. And also, you're not even particularly sure if the variety that you're using is actually the best for the area, the market and the climate that you're producing under. But today, we're going to be discussing some of the factors that can help you to choose the right variety for your area. And I hope that it actually helps you in narrowing down as to which variety is good for you and which to go for and what we need to consider is the market in my past video what i said was the market is the golden rule right you need to know which market you're producing for but furthermore when it comes to variety what is important is the specifications that the market actually wants so, so say for instance you are producing a tomato um, for restaurants right what they are most likely to want is a tomato that's a salad that they can actually cut once and then put it on a burger and then they're done, right? As opposed to them looking for salad dates, which is jam tomatoes, where you, can, you need to cut it a lot of times, right? That will be different from if you're producing for uh, your processing guys, where they will want something like a jam tomato so that it's easy to process, then they can it, then they can sell it. So which market are you producing for? That's very important because then you need to determine the size, the quality, the color, the texture, things like that, right? So the variety that you need to pick is the one that is well suited to what your market actually wants. At number two, what we have is knowing the production system that a particular variety can grow under. Say for instance, you are now producing an open field. You are then only limited to varieties that are well suited for open field production. The varieties then differ because there's some varieties that you can't produce under open field, there's some varieties that you can't produce in the greenhouse, there's some varieties that you can't produce in the net house. So whatever variety you go for needs to be well suited for the production system that you currently have on your farm, which will then make it easier. So you need to factor in the kind of production system that a variety is suited under and then go for it. Sometimes varieties are indeterminate, some are determinate, some are um, open field adaptive, and then some are greenhouse adaptable. So you need to choose which variety will work for the production system that you currently have on the farm and go for the best one. And number three, what's important is knowing the climate that you, of the area that you're producing under. This is really important because if you know, for instance, a temperature, rainfall, humidity, things like that, or if you're a greenhouse, then temperature, humidity, air circulation and ventilation then becomes really important. So you now choose a variety that is well suited to your area according to maybe how much rainfall, um, how hot it gets. If you do get long periods of rainfall or long periods of um, very hot weathers, then you know you're going to choose a variety that's well suited to the warmer areas or to uh, cooler areas, right? So for example, a variety that can work in the Western Cape and Northern Cape or the coastal areas may not particularly work in the inland areas, right? Because at the same time, the temperature is really different, right? And it may work well in the Limpopo area, but it might not work well in the Gauteng or free state area so you need to be careful when you're choosing a variety to choose a variety that's good for the climate of the area that you're under and number four what we have is knowing the diseases that are prevalent in your area and when they occur right so for instance if you are planting carriages in the summer area in the Limpopo area then you do know that black rot is a thing right <laughs> but for instance if 
and you need to know when it occurs because this will help you in terms of knowing which variety is actually suitable so you then choose a variety that has the specific disease package that you find in your area because some diseases are prevalent in other areas whereas other diseases are not pre are prevalent in another area so choose a variety that has the specific disease package that your area is most prevalent in and then the variety will then have the inherent characteristics to fight off of the disease at the time that it occurs. Also, some varieties are well suited to the summer periods, while others are well suited to the winter periods. Just know which variety to choose and then go for it at the specific season that you're in. For instance, cabbages can be grown throughout the whole year, but there's some cabbages that can only be grown during the summer production times, and then there's others that can be produced during the winter production times. So you need to choose which variety, the specific variety for the specific season that you're in, area that you're in, climate that you're in, and also taking into consideration the disease package. So it sort of kind of then can narrow down the choices that you have from 100 varieties to only four or five varieties that you can choose from. Get as much information on the variety that you're producing and also take record of how the performance goes so that in the next production cycle, you're well informed to make a decision on whether to continue with a particular variety or if it does not work for you. And lastly, spread the risk of diseases by planting one or two varieties. This will help you because since one variety um, gets a certain particular disease, the other one might be resi resistant to it. So it will help you sort of kind of manage the risk, right? Because you want to spread the risk. So plant two or three varieties within one season so that you see how they compare to one another and which varieties will they, you will then use moving forward. Thank you so much for joining us today and I hope all this information helps you. But please let me know in the comment section if it does, if it is helpful and let me know if you have any other tips that you can give in narrowing down which variety to choose um, for your crop production cycles. Thank you so much and I'll see you the next time.